you made the last start in Florida right before the shutdown there. Uh, how tough was that for you, that kind of a long layoff after obviously that outing didn't go the way you'd hoped? And how'd you keep yourself sharp until everybody reconvened in Baltimore? Yeah, uh, I mean, I wish that the, the quarantine happened a day earlier after, so I didn't have to start that game. But uh, it was good to kind of um, hit pause for me after that one especially and go back and refine some things. And uh, I was given that time to, to do that. So I took that opportunity and, and ran with it and it's been feeling good in these past couple outings that I've had here. Rich Dubroff, you're up next. Go ahead, Rich. Yeah. Hi, Thomas. In the time that you've been back uh, in Baltimore these past few weeks, what's life been like uh, both, you know, around the team and, you know, off the, you know, and off the field? Have you, um, have you been sort of just staying in your hotel, apartment, whatever, uh, venturing out at all? Uh, no, not really. Um, we're pretty, uh, we had a team meeting about it and everyone's pretty serious about it. Um, so we understand the, uh, the consequences that it will, that will happen if we do get exposed to this virus and, and what it can do to affect our team as a whole. I mean, obviously you see Santander and, and, um, um, and the Dwight, they're out for a long time. So it's just, that's the kind of aspect that we have to go about it and understand the consequences that will affect us as a squad and how it'll affect our season. So, um, we just have to understand the, the safety uh, procedures to follow, and, and we, we continuously follow them. Our training staff, has, training staff here has done an unbelievable job in, in making sure that we can follow the restrictions. Dan Conley, you're up next. Go ahead, Dan. Thanks. Hey, Thomas. The, uh, the, the rotation, really, the, the pitching staff as a whole struggled some last year, um, and then you lose Dylan Bundy via trade. But a lot of guys got some valuable experience, and you did add some veterans going into this year. How would you look – like, overall, what do you think about this pitching staff going into next week? And how does it compare, do you think, to last year? I'm excited. I mean, I, I'm, last year was my first time around a big league staff, so I, I really didn't have a, a whole grasp on the situation. But those guys were unbelievable to me and, and, and welcomed me with open arms. And uh, to be around – uh, this staff right now, it's, it's a, a little bit different. I mean, there's, these guys have been around the league for a long time now, and, and they have little things, uh, ins and outs of the game that um, they share that you haven't heard uh, or experienced in a long time. So, um, I mean, being paired with Tommy Malone every single time that I've done pins and games has been uh, fun to compete against. I mean, that guy has a lot of time in the big league. So, for me to go up against him each and every outing out here is, has been a little uh, – uh, motivation for me because I know that he's been around and, and for me to compete with him is, is fun and it helps me get better. Steve Molesky, you're up next. Go ahead, Steve. Thomas, we've obviously seen some good pitching lines from interest squads. Uh, in your mind, is that a direct result of some things that happened during the shutdown and how pitchers worked hard to stay active? Or are you keeping in touch with each other and pushing each other, that sort of thing? Yeah, Holmes and Brocale have done an unbelievable job with us as far as having an open line of communication and, and making sure that each and every one of us is uh, coming into this camp prepared to um, play this season. So uh, each and every one of us took it seriously and, and we went home and made sure that we were still in shape in, for, in order for this to happen. So, um, I mean, hats off to our staff and hats off to our coaches for, for being able to push us in that right direction. John Mioli, you're up next. Go ahead, John. How's it going, Thomas? Um, there's still a lot that can happen this week, and you put yourself in, in a good position based on what you've done so far in the camp. But last year you were one of those up and down, you know, triple-A, big league, arm options. Do you consider – or have you thought at all about whether the secondary camp and the work you're going to be able to be able to do there if you end up there? Is that comparable to what you would have been able to do in a regular minor league season? Have you given that any thought? Uh, not entirely. I think that um, if we go into it the right mindset, we'll be able to, com to completely want to. Um, but I think at that time, you just kind of have to make sure that you're staying ready mentally and physically at that point and understand the consequences that we've, or the cards that we've been dealt. Um, so at this point in time, as long as you kind of follow what you need to, to follow and make sure you're ready for that opportunity, you gotta, you gotta be ready for it. 
Jeff Arnold, you're up next. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Thomas. Thanks for doing this. Um, when when you looked at some of the success you had in spring training, I mean, you faced the Phillies lineup that had most of the regulars in it. You faced the Yankees lineup that had most of their regulars in it. What allowed you to be so successful, and, and what did you kind of take from spring, at least the first one, and carry over into the summer so that way uh, when you, you're hopefully pitching for the Orioles this year, you're going to be able to replicate? Yeah, I think uh, our analytical department did a fantastic job as far as helping us understand what we do good. And I kind of took that and, and ran with it a little bit. Um, what pitches to throw in certain situations, where to throw them, and, and how much should you throw them. So um, they broke it down to us. Um, and I just kind of I took that, ran with it, and it felt good. So just kind of continuously learn on that side of things and, and where to throw it. and. Um, yeah, and expand on it.